I wanted to take some time to uh, clean everything up, maybe do a few more steps on here this weekend uh, before I took this video. Unfortunately, the rain is coming and has actually already started a little bit, and it's going to rain all weekend long. So here's where I'm at, uh, pretty much at a uh, fairly decent stopping point, I think. Uh, the saw is indeed mounted in place. Shop Fox fence is on there, and by the way, guys, that thing works amazing. Uh, I've actually got a layer of three-quarter inch particle board for my top. This is just a lock-in layer uh, that butts up against the cabinets here so the top can't move, uh, and it kind of helps thicken up the overhang so we can avoid any kind of uh, sag. And then I had this half-inch piece of MDF uh, that the guy gave me with all the particle board. It's a little beat up and bruised, uh, but for right now it'll work. Uh, as you can see, this corner's got a little bit of a ding. Uh, the corner down there is pretty much missing. Uh, and if you look at how shiny it looks, uh, what I did is I used the same spray gun that I used to, um, to paint all the cabinets. I just dumped in some liquid... Uh, our liquid uh, waterborne poly and I just sprayed that on this top uh, I also sprayed it on the particle board top below uh, again this thing is going to sit outside so uh, under a tarp yes but we just want to make sure that indeed we do all that we can to protect it so what is left is to get some uh, one by material to run an edge all the way along the sides here uh, I'm going to have to get some drawer slides at some point in time. I don't know when I'm going to be able to make that happen. Uh, working on a very, very limited budget here, so I can't just run out and, uh, and spend money like I'd love to. Got a switch in place. No, that is not the, uh, the safety switch for the saw. Unfortunately, when I was installing the Shop Fox the very first time, well, that bar maybe kind of sort of fell and broke it. Um, <clears throat> the switch itself is still good, it's just the housing is no good. So what I'm going to try and do is get a blank cover and uh, pull out the Dremel tool and I'll cut the square or the rectangle hole in there and see if I can't uh, pop the safety switch in there. Got our wiring all in place. Try and get down in there. Uh, just got to get a cover on that box back there. Uh, that is where all the main wiring will come in. Uh, from there, it comes to our switch. And one wire, of course, goes back to engage the saw. We're going to run some conduit out this side, some conduit out this side, and we'll put an outlet down on that end. Oh, sorry about that, kind of fast. And an outlet down on that end. Uh, I've also got to run another piece out of the back of that box uh, that's going to run around to our router and put uh, outlets on the other side of the table. Uh, yeah, yeah, the rain's really starting to come now, so I better make this fast. So as we come around, we'll see that, yes, indeed, I've got where the router's going to go. I still have not built that shelf and installed it. The reason that I have not put the shelf in yet is I'm concerned about the depth of the router. Um, and I also want to put in a router lift. Uh, I'm thinking about ordering up the uh, the plans for one of those. Or uh, another gentleman that I've seen, I really liked what he did. Uh, shaving wood when he used an old table saw uh, lift mechanism to do it. Quite honestly, I think that's probably the best one I've seen thus far. Uh, of course, we've got you know good loose tool st storage for now. Um, coming around the other side, I've got the backer plate in here so that we kind of control the dust from the motor. Uh, the dust from the motor will fall down in here. Shallow storage that we built from the uh, from the cabinet that we built too large. A little bit more storage in here. Again, I would have loved to have cleaned this thing up and made it all kind of sexy for you, but uh, it's really starting to pick up on the rain right now so I just I just couldn't uh, here's that big old ding that I was talking about 
Again, this is just a uh, sacrificial top that's built to be uh, to be removed as it gets beat up over time. Everything lines up with the saw um, in some kind of amazing twist of engineering. I was working with ideas of numbers. I didn't have an exact. I was guessing pretty darn close. I, I was shocked that it worked out so well. Um, yeah, I didn't think it would. Uh, and we got more storage here. The main outlet is in. Uh, twist lock outlet. So that as you, uh, you plug it in, you've got to twist it. And that's uh, that way you'll ensure that it won't fall out and you'll lose power. I wonder why. Uh, there's the uh, cord that I've made so far. Uh, I was going to use an old extension cord that I had. But unfortunately, that cord was so bad somewhere inside of it that it all I had to do was touch it to uh, some wires that were plugged into the outlet for a charger, and it would pop the GFI. I wasn't even plugging it in. I was just bringing it near the other outlet, um, and that would pop it. So, yeah, I wasn't going to use that. I knew it was really too far gone to even try it anymore. Uh, so, gentlemen... That is my table saw stand for now. I've got some face frames to build, which are going to be interesting to do, considering uh, most of you know my crag jig built its own legs and walked away on me. Uh, so I've got some ideas bouncing around in my head as to how we're going to accomplish that. Uh, if the rain ever does go away this weekend, maybe I'll, I'll go ahead and show you what my thoughts are on that. Uh, but there it is in all of its glory for now, fully usable, fully functioning, ready to roll around wherever I need it to, uh, hoping to replace those casters very soon. Um, I think that's going to help strengthen things up quite a bit uh, because the bearings are shot in those, not the wheel bearings, but the bearings that allow the casters to turn. Um, They've just given out completely, and as the wheel goes to turn, it wants to tilt rather than actually turn. And that's why we had the uh, portion break out that we did. So, live and learn, right guys? Live and learn. So, hope you enjoy it. Hope you enjoyed all of the build. Uh, and now that we're to this point, let's get on some projects, right? <laughs>